welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing you guys how to recreate this dragon scale look in some dice using some blanks let's get to it so the first thing that you are going to need is a set of blanks i made mine the night before i needed them using just some resin and some black mica powder it was a really simple pour and it just helps to make the colors that go on to the faces of the dice a little bit more noticeable and pop. And once I poured the dice, I just put them in my pressure pot and I let them cure for 24 hours. And here comes the fun stuff. Now I get to teach you how to make this effect. To accomplish this, you're just going to need some gel nail polish, some soapy water, and a UV lamp. Using the gel nail polish, you are just going to take the brush and you're going to want to paint one of the faces on the die that you choose and you're going to want to make the layer of the UV polish really thin. I just found that using a thick layer, you didn't get as good of a scale effect on the dice, so just make sure that you use a really thin layer. As you can see, I used quite a thick layer on this first face and I ended up having to take that off and redo it because I did not like the effect that came out. But continuing with the process, once you get the gel polish on the face, you're just going to take a spoonful of that soapy water. I used Dawn dish soap and water, just a splash of water, mostly soap, and I just shook it up in a Tupperware container to get it nice and bubbly. I did end up having to grab more soap about halfway through painting the faces just because I ran out. Um, so make sure you have lots of soapy water on hand. And you're just going to want to do this for every single face on each of the die. You can redo it if you don't like it. Um, you can do that by taking your fingernail and just kind of scraping the face of the die. It comes off really easy, surprisingly. I did end up having to fix a couple of the faces on the dice that I was doing. Uh, but yeah, I think in total it took me maybe an hour to paint all of the faces with the gel nail polish and the soapy water before I was able to start dusting it with some pigment. So for pigment, you can really use any kind of mica that you want, but I chose a chameleon powder, so it's a color shifting green blue pigment, and the brand was Crucifix, I believe. I got it off of Amazon. So yeah, you're just gonna wanna take that pigment and brush it onto the faces of each of the dye, uh, you can really use whatever you want to put the pigment on the dye, but I chose a makeup brush and I thought it worked really well. You can see here that the scales are really noticeable right now. You don't see them so much when the dice are still black, but once you put the pigment on, you can really see the effect. So you're just going to want to take the pigment and put it on all of the faces on each of the dice. And then once that's done, you can cast them in your regular molds. This part of the process was very quick. I think it took me maybe five minutes to do, and this is how they all came out. Once I was happy with the way they came out, I mixed up some of the resin and I added them to my molds. I pre-dipped them in some resin just to make it easier to insert into the molds. And that's pretty much it for the casting process. You just use clear resin and they come out so pretty. This set went into my pressure pot and I let it cure again for another 24 hours before demolding. And here are the results. At first glance, you can see the scales so clearly and they are so beautiful. I was super happy just looking at them still in the mold. So I am doing actually a giveaway for this set. So if you guys are interested, you can just head over to my TikTok for more info. And yeah, uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment for some suggestions on content you guys want to see because I love to hear your opinions. See you guys next time.